Hey everybody, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Surviving Mars, shall we? Let's continue our tutorial so I can get to know the basics of the game, and just the details of the how I'm going to lose. Welcome, Commander. It looks like this forward base has gone through a major dust storm. Alright, so we have a dust storm. Uh... This is interesting. I guess this is Earth in the background, and that's Mars. The scale on that is beyond belief, uh, if that is indeed the case. But anyway, um, it's our job to fix up and prepare it for the colonists. And we're going to learn how to handle power, life support, grids, and building maintenance, as well as how to construct your first dome. Okay, this is great. So, um, I saw on the YouTube comments that this game actually is incredibly difficult, and you get hit with dust storms and meteors and all kinds of awful astrological events that make things really hard. So, let's check it out. Okay, so I got a bunch of buildings that aren't working. First. Let's remove some unnecessary structures. Let's do it. Let's remove all these unnecessary structures. This concrete extractor has depleted its deposit and will be of no use now. We can salvage some construction materials from it. Okay, so we're going to salvage it. So select it, and we can push this salvage button, which is this hex with, filled with parts, and we will get 2.5 uh, bars of iron and some kind of gear um okay and it's gonna do that it takes some time well, let's get that drone hub operational let's get it operational we need to supply the drone hub with power the resources from the salvaged concrete extractor should be enough to construct a solar panel it would be best to use the existing power cables to connect the two buildings and avoid wasting more metals on cables. Okay, let's do that. Power the drone hub with the help of a solar panel. Okay, so place the solar panel next to existing cables and connect it to the same power network as the drone hub. Okay, so I guess they're showing me right here is where I want to put it. And we're gonna just click on uh, power. Oh, that's drone hub. These are my drones. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Um, build menu, sorry. Build power uh, large solar panel. It costs three bars, and it takes one bar to maintain, and it produces five electricity. Okay, metals, concrete, and then these were machine parts. Okay, so we're going to build this, and we'll just line it up, and... Um, I'm going to just kind of speed up the game so that the drones will come over and get it. Here they come. Yeah, all these drones aren't working because they I guess they don't have power. Um, so some of the drones are operating. And then, boom, look at we that thing. It has some power, but it's not enough. It's not enough. We should prioritize the drone hub. Okay. Let's prioritize the drone hub. You can change the priority of buildings manually. Buildings on higher priority get power, maintenance, and workers first. So we're going to set the drone hub to high priority. So let's select it. And let's just change its priority by left-clicking to increase it. And now it's at we the top. We can use the machine parts left from the concrete extractor to build a wind turbine. Okay. Wind turbines are a good alternative to solar panels as they can operate day and night. They also get bonus power production if built on high ground. However, wind turbines have high upkeep cost and require maintenance more often than solar panels. Okay, so let's build one of those. So we go build, and we go wind turbine, because we're already in the power menu. We can go wind turbine, and they want us to build it right here. Um, it costs a bunch of concrete machine parts. We're getting a 19% elevation boost, which is seems pretty reasonable, and we'll build it. Let me zoom out. And let's just see all our exciting drones making this happen, dropping off the supplies, and they fill up here. I just never get enough of watching drones fill up the supplies, or dwarves, depending on what game you're playing. And they did it. And 
our power network. Even with the wind turbine, uh -oh. there won't be enough electricity to power the base, especially during the night. Okay. Solar panels provide power only during the day, and we don't have accumulators to compensate at night. I was going to say, don't we have batteries? We don't. You can set some of the base buildings to automatically turn off at night using the building's shifts. There are three shifts, first shift, second shift, and night shift. Buildings will require power, resources, and workers during only their active shifts. Okay, so we need to disable the night shifts of the moisture vapor uh, vaporator and the fuel refinery. So this is the moisture vaporator, and we're gonna go to its shift, and we're gonna say night shift, turn it off. And then we can go to this fuel refinery and turn it off. To get things operational, but this won't last, as buildings require maintenance, and we are out of resources. Well, that's a humdinger. So, yeah, buildings require maintenance, and we're out. Looks like we're also um, unbalanced on our power. Buildings require maintenance with resources roughly every six or seven souls. Uh, souls are Mars days. Buildings that don't get maintenance break and won't function until repaired. To showcase this, we have simulated a breakdown of your solar panel. Well, thanks. Drones will automatically repair this breakdown, provided that there are metals in range of their controller. Let's examine the broken down so we can select it and we can say, hey, what happened? And it says the condition of buildings deteriorates over time. Martian dust and disasters contribute to deterioration of outside buildings. Okay. This base. Use the RC transport to collect some metals and transport them back. All right. So we need to get metals and we can use our RC transport. It can mine surface metals and we need to get about 20 to 30 metals and bring them back. You can use these metals to set up additional solar panels and power up everything. So we just need to deliver at least 20 to the base. Sure. All right. Um, select the R tree C transport. Resources are low. Alright, I'm gonna slow it down for a moment while I read this, and then right click on any metal surface to mine it. So I'm gonna right click on this, gather at least 20, and then deliver it. Okay, so I'm now speed it up all the way and let the RC transport go over here. And here it comes. And I'm gonna just kinda uh, click on follow it and just watch it work. And it's filling up. You can see the stacks. Um, let me look at this. How much metal do you have? It has seven. All right, so we're just going to wait. Um, it's That node is gone, that surface metal. That whole rock busted up. And we're just going to try to get 20, but more would be good. I'm going to fill it up, honestly. I'm going to fill up its capacity to 30. All right, we got 20, and we're going to move on to the next rock. It'll stop gathering once full. I wonder if... Yeah, you can queue tasks. Okay, so... Shift right-click. So once it's done, I'm just going to shift right-click there. And so I have it queued. So once it fills up, which it did, it's now going to do its queued task. And now it has zero queued tasks. So we got that going. Cool. And it's going to unload all this stuff. Good job. Good job. Oh, we need more than just metals. Oh. Fortunately, we can call a resupply rocket from Earth. It'll only take six years to arrive. Okay, great. Using rockets to resupplies from Earth is the best way to secure resources early on. You'll need funding to buy the resources, but your sponsor usually will provide you with enough to get a basic colony up and running. Open the resupply screen and order advanced resources from Earth. Okay, so the resupply screen is here. I'm going to slow down time, just to regular, and we're going to click on this. And we're going to say, give me a cargo rocket. We need 20 polymers, machine parts, and electronics. And then launch the rocket. All right, so we're going to select cargo rocket. And we want 20 here. 20 machine parts here. And 20 electronics here. And then we're going to push the launch button here. Now, this is going to cost... Uh, I guess 7 million, almost 8 million. 7.9 million. Nice. Okay. We pushed Let's launch. Let's do some cleaning up around the base while we wait for the rocket to arrive. All right. I guess we're going to do some spring cleaning. The remains of destroyed or salvaged buildings will obstruct other constructions. 
To clear such ruins, you'll need to research the decommission protocol technology in the engineering field. For the purposes of this simulation, we've provided you with the tech. Thank you so much. All right, so here it is right here. So we can select it and we can just say clear. And let's say rem remove it. And then we can um, speed it up and just watch the drones come over. I guess one drone is able to do that. Now, and it just busted it up. Let's remove some of the unnecessary cables. Okay. You can use the salvage tools in the build menu to remove cables and pipes, as well as an alternative way to salvage buildings. All right, so I'm gonna select this, open the build menu, and select salvage tool from the infrastructure cat uh, category. All right, salvage. With the salvage tool activated, left click on the cables, close to the site of the salvaged concrete extractor to delete them. All right, these. Oh, all of them, uh-huh. And then we can just right click to cancel. Wait for the arrival of the rocket and then land it near the base. Remember, you can speed up time via the HUD buttons at the bottom left of your screen. Okay, so here comes the rocket, and we want it near the base. Um, all right, I'll just put it, like, right there. How's that? That's close enough to the base, isn't it? Okay, we're on Sol 3, and things are operating. Here comes the rocket. It's here. The supplies from Earth have arrived and we can use them to expand the base. Fantastic. Let's start with a power accumulator. It allows you to store power for nighttime or emergencies. Keep in mind that accumulators have a capped maximum output, so a single one may not be enough to power all buildings at night. Goal, construct a power accumulator and connect it to the power grid. Okay, um, hint, you may want to construct some additional solar panels and wind turbines in advance to sustain base expansion. Okay, so I'm actually going to pause the game. And we're going to, well, first of all, I love doing this when you pause it. Just kind of rotate the camera, move it around, and just take a look at what we've got. Cool. Here's this sweet drone just working around and... Nice. Oh, you carrying some metal? That's interesting. Um, okay. So we need to build a accumulator. So let's push B, and then let's um, go to power, and then we're going to build this big battery guy. And it takes two concrete and two polymers. And we need to connect it to the grid, so we can just put it anywhere we want that's on the grid. So why not right here? All right, and that looks good. Now, it did say, let's build some other solar panels, right? So let me go into um, build, and we're going to go to power, and we're going to build a, a solar panel. And can we build it? It's interesting. Are these solar panels? They are, but it's nighttime, so they're... What, what is this? It says large solar panel. Oh, it's... it's. Um, let's rebuild it. Yeah, 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 just rebuild it right and then um, let me c select this um, let me build infrastructure and um, cables I guess mm, no power power cables yeah, yeah yeah this and there we go let's just connect the power grid and see what happens if we do that and then um, let me build some more wind turbines build uh, wind turbine. All clear. Great, put that there. Um, and I'm going to now uh, unpause it and see what happens. I'm actually going to build uh, another uh, wind turbine right here. And we still have the same elevation... essential for a sustainable Martian colony. Makes sense. Fortunately, there is a water deposit nearby. Great. Let's build a water extractor near the deposit. All extractors must be placed near a deposit of the corresponding type. Remember then to connect it to power. You may also have to build more power producers 
to generate the required power. Okay. Use the build menu to construct a water extractor near the water deposit. Then power it up. Power it up. Okay, great. So let me look at my power situation. Now I have a surplus of eight power. Let me look at this thing. It's charging. It requires a minimum of 20 power to start supplying the grid. So it's not ready to do that yet, but we'll get there. All right, so let's go ahead and build a life support water extractor. And we'll build it right there. And then we can um, build power cables. And we're going to connect the cables. Um, just I can build it probably around like this. No blocking. Uh Maybe this will power it. Let's see if like this works, like just being next to it. It should work, right? You would imagine. Yeah, because if you get close, you can see that they shoot this little cable out when they're close by. All right, so let's unpause it and just watch all this magic happen. All right, now we have a bunch of solar panels hooked up. Here's our other wind turbine. It's going. Um, did I, are they not building the, oh, there they go. All right. While they're doing that, I'm going to build another wind turbine. No, no, no. Sorry. Not, not cables. The water um, extractor is ready, oops. but we don't have a storage for the water it will extract. Oh, no. We don't, do we? We'll need water for domes, farming, and polymer production. But for now, we don't have any of that, so we can store some water in a water tower. Storages are important safety measures for your colonies. They'll provide water, oxygen, or power in the case of a producer breaking down or ceasing operation during a disaster. That seems like a good thing. All right, so let me quickly build a water tower, and we're just going to put it, like, next door. It should be able to get power from this and just be happy. Um, I'm going to pause it for a moment and I'm going to build oops a uh, solar panel here and then is there a pipit tool that'd be nice huh um, rename it unpinned uh, construction, turn on or off, change priority. Uh, can I? I can right click it maybe? And then, nah. I'm looking for a pivot. A pivot uh, is something that you have in Anna where it's like you can copy whatever building is there and then just build another one. I'm sure it ha this game has that. I just don't know how to do it yet. Um, we'll build another one right there just to help our power situation. I mean, we have so much concrete now. And then let me uh, build one more wind turbine. There. And we're going to unpause it and just let all this stuff happen. All right, so now we need to build some pipes. So we can build life support. Uh, oh, no, 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 maybe it's... Here it is. Yep, pipes. And we're just going to do that. Like, they're so close, right? So we're building a pipe that's like point-blank range, but that's great. Here come the drones. They're dropping off for the wind turbine. And our power situation just got way better. And the pipes are going... Maybe they're not going. Oh, they have to be connected to specific spots. So then I built pipes, but they don't work. All right, let me try this again. Oh, I see. Ah, oh, man, that doesn't work. Um, let me try it like this. I might have to destroy something. Boy, that's too bad. Okay. Um, let me click on this pipe here pause the game. Alright, I'm going to click build, and I'm going to click um, 
infrastructure salvage this. Just break up these pipes for a moment. I connected the thing to itself, I believe, is what I did. Right click, build um, V pipes, I guess. And then I want, like, can you do. Nah, it's. I have somehow made it so I can't connect these. Alright, so I need to go. Um, salvage this, I guess. I was trying to be cute and build everything really cozy, but I think I destroyed myself by doing that. So we're just going to salvage this thing. And I guess that'll happen eventually. And... Um, come finish this off, please. There we go. All right, now let me build pipes and just say, all right, you're saying this building to this building? Is that going to do it? All right, let me look. It looks like it does it. The time has finally come to build the first dome that will house our colonists. Hey! Domes are large superstructures that house colonists. You can construct many buildings inside domes. Some of them will require colonists as workforce. Domes have limited space but can be connected via passages to form larger systems. Remember to use the RC transport to mine metals and call resupply rockets if you need advanced resources to finish the dome. All right, so we can build a basic dome. All right, let's do that. So we're going to go build, and we're going to go domes, and we're going to go basic dome right there. Okay, and then now what we need is probably to connect it at some point. Resources or, are low. Okay, or we can just order ourselves um, a new rocket. So, Rocket Man... Can you, uh, return to Earth, I guess. It's not refueled. Oh. Well, maybe I can, oh, no, no, wait. That's not where I order rockets, is it? I go to, um, a different screen. I go to resupply. I say cargo rocket. I say give me one that has, like, just... A bajillion metals and then uh, polymers and then buy the rocket I mean yeah it's I know that like I could do it a different way but go for it launch okay and we're just going to speed it up and the rocket is filling up we're using all of our resources to go into this dome, but we might not have enough. Our power situation is fine. Almost there. Oh, here we go. Uh-huh. All right, great. And we're just going to land this baby uh, over here, close by. And while we're at it, I mean, I'm just going to have this guy go get metal. And here comes the metal. They're taking it out. And then now the drones are all going back to finish up the dome. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't have any fuel, so I can't return these rockets. But it's just a tutorial, so who really cares? Come on, drones, help us. We need um, 
we have plenty of polymers we just need some more concrete and metal and we have enough concrete so let's do it mm-hmm All right, almost there. Just a little bit more concrete. And we're waiting on one last drone. There it is. Look, he's got his little block of concrete. Takes it over, and we did it. Now we can start constructing it. So we can stand back and watch this happen. Oh, it's almost done. There it goes. The dome is complete, but we have to supply it with water, power, and oxygen before we can use it. Okay. Domes require life support, namely water, power, and oxygen. Connect the dome to the existing power and water infrastructure. You may need to build additional power producers. For oxygen, you'll need to construct a MOXIE, a device that extracts oxygen from the carbon dioxide in the Martian atmosphere. Once the MOXIE is ready and powered up, connect it to the dome with pipes. It may be wise to build an oxygen storage as well. All right then. Let's do that. Okay, let's get this dome what it needs, shall we? Um, it needs... I'm going to pause the game. It needs power, water, and oxygen. Pretty important things. So, I can build cables and just, you know, connect that. And then I can build pipes and then just take it from the supply right there. And that should do it. I don't know if you need to go from the supply or to the tower, you know? Um, I'm not quite sure about that, but hopefully it's all connected at this point. Now I need to build a moxie, and we can build that. I'm just going to build it kind of nearby. That's fine. And we'll unpause it. Now you'll notice that the layout of things is slightly different. I had to actually stop in the Resources are low. process of... Uh, the last tutorial but they don't let you save the game in the tutorial which is kind of annoying because it's a pretty long tutorial so I had to uh, catch up to where I was which didn't take too much time but I just didn't do things exactly the same so that should hopefully explain why the location of things is a bit different and my resource situation might also oh we're out of power all right so I got to build some more power stuff power um, Let's go wind or solar um, and then solar and then wind and then wind there. And then that thing needs, we need to connect pipes to that and hopefully that will help put everything together. Now these are the same pipes it's like but this is air and then this is water so i don't know if that counts or not well done. oh we did it completed the simulation successfully perfect we have completed it so that was really all you needed to do was just get power water and oxygen with a dome and other resources and then finally with the next tutorial we're actually going to have human beings on Mars um, and not be handling it all remotely with drones, which I actually kind of like. Um, but I guess the purpose is to, you know, have people. So it's cool. I love the fact that we're building a dome. It is very Kim Stanley Robinson. It's great. Uh, and let's just see how it works. So everyone, I will check you guys in the next episode of this just getting started with surviving mars and just learning the controls learning the intricacies uh and i mean again i i like this kind of game i like the atmosphere i like the music i like the style of it so i'm excited to see how it develops and actually how the game plays once you're off rails but i do enjoy these kinds of tutorials because there's just so much to a game like this that i would be confused otherwise all right everybody Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.